Welcome in Aggie fans to episode one of our new video series, Film Room with Chris Jans. Coach, thanks for doing this. Thanks for having me, Adam. This is exciting. Uh, our first topic for episode one is gonna be Jamario Jones, who coach, you got to coach for just one year, but uh, what a year it was, what a special player. He certainly was, you know, uh, reminiscing about Jamario, watching a little video of him preparing for this, uh, was good and bad. Certainly was nice to uh, remember how good a player he was. But at the same time, I certainly wish we had him uh, now. Uh, he was a special player, very unique, very unique, which obviously we're gonna get into, but I don't think I've ever coached anyone quite like Jamario. Go ahead and start the film, Coach. And uh, what we're gonna see here during the course of all these clips is how versatile he was. 13 rebounds per game, he passed the ball well. He did so many things well. He did, you know, as you can see on the video, he just was a relentless rebounder. Um, I think you said it earlier, he averaged around 13 rebounds a game, which I think put him second in the country. And um, what I always told people is, you know, he was 6'5", maybe 200 pounds soaking wet, but he played so much bigger than he was. And when you watch the video, you'll see, uh, he just has a nose for the ball. Um, you know, all us coaches would love to take some credit for it, but it was just his natural instincts. And the thing that um, always stuck out to me was, as you saw right there on that video, is his second jump. You know, he'll, go, he'll jump once, go get the ball, like in this clip, he'll go get it. And then he, he's gonna find a way to get it up again and again. And he just, he just his, his um, nose for the ball, his relentless pursuit of the ball, was nothing I'd ever seen. And then obviously he played with Zach Lofton and Zach took a lot of shots. So um, Jumario knew, you know, the ball was going up and he anticipated and um, he just was one of a kind that way. I know a lot of fans probably watched the Chicago Bulls documentary during the pandemic and you saw a lot of Dennis Rodman during that documentary. Does he have a lot of Dennis Rodman qualities? Oh, for sure. Um, I mean, he just, he's a guy that everyone loves to play with because he's doing the dirty things, he's doing the little things. And they weren't dirty or little to Demario. that was what he did. And he's what our, us coaches call a ball getter. When we recruit, we, we talk all the time, is he a ball getter or not? Um, and Jamario would be, you know, the, the picture in the dictionary of a ball getter because um, he just, he's always done it. I bet since he was in, in little, little kid basketball, junior high basketball, high school basketball, uh, I guarantee he was always the leading rebounder or not right there um, for every team or league that he's, that he's played in. We're going to see in a lot of these film clips his energy. His energy, I'm sure, was contagious for the rest of the players. Did you see that energy in practice as well? You know, uh, it was interesting. He, um, if the drill was competitive, he was all in. But if it wasn't competitive, and then not so much. Um, he didn't really want to do a lot of three on zero, five on zero. Uh, he didn't, he kind of just was disinterested maybe at times when it came to that. But if there was something on the line and there was a winner or a loser, um, you wanted him on your team. He, he just had unbelievable passion and, and winning meant so much to him. And, and he, he loved the team aspect of it. He loved the camaraderie. He loved being a part uh, of the organization. Um, and certainly like you talked about, his energy was contagious and a lot of the guys fed off him. This is one of my favorite clips. It's gonna be a missed shot and Jamario is in a perfect spot to box out. Yeah, you know, it's something that every coach teaches. Um, some spend more time on it than others. We've been fortunate to be a pretty good rebounding team since we've been here. Uh, and it just starts with fundamentals and, and Jamario was good at it. Uh, the thing that he was special at was what you're gonna see here is once he got the rebound, he just pushed the ball and everybody knew to sprint the court. If you were a big, run to the rim. If you were a shooter, run to a, a three, the three point line and get your hands and feet ready because he was a willing passer. You know, if you were open, he was going to give you the ball. If you ran the court, he would reward you. And the longer the guys played with him, the more they understood that, that they would be rewarded. And you'll see on these upcoming clips of guys running the court and, and Jamario finding them. This brings back a lot of good memories, doesn't it? It does. It does. Some good players out there and uh, fun guys to coach. And uh, as you see here, John Wilkins running the court. He figured out he could get a couple baskets a game that way. If you were gonna run the floor with Jamario, 
you better be ready to get the basketball, right? Uh, he, he sees the game differently. I mean, not many guys are going to anticipate that little window available to the passer that he just found to hit Eli um, for, two, for two points. And then Eli is acknowledging him, you know, which is really smart. Acknowledge him for making the pass because, hey, I want you to keep feeding me. And some guys don't get that. It's kind of an old school deal. And we love when our players do that to one another, to acknowledge each other uh, when, when they pass the ball to one another. 3.1 assists per game, but he had some turnovers along the way. Did you kind of have to live with that? Yeah, it's not something, uh, you know, you, you, you enjoy living with, but with him, you had to take some bad with the good. And, um, you know, he would remind me of that sometimes. I'd, I'd get on him about turning the ball over and his retort was, you know, I'll get it back. You know, I'll make up for it. And I'm like, yeah, but I want you to be perfect. Um, but that was probably too much to ask. But he certainly uh, uh, was a special player and a great passer. This is a good one right here to uh, Eli Chu. Again, it just... The defender was surprised. Everyone but Eli was surprised that that pass was made. I, I miss this. We don't have a lot of guys at his position that can do that. I and mean, again, small window, Eli ran the court. It's a special quality to have your four men uh, push and play is what we call it. You know, if, if, if you're a, a handler and you get a defensive rebound, you know, everyone just run the court and play and, and let that person make a decision. And, and just let him play basketball and not think so much. And he loved to defend. He did, um, especially when uh, it was uh, one of the better players on the other team on the scouting report. He always wanted to guard that player if he could, and he he, he, he would want to rise to the to the challenge, rise to the occasion. Like right here, he's guarded number 23 from Davidson, who's an excellent player, and he did a really good job bombing all night long on a game that we ended up winning by a point or two. But he just. You know, he's sticking with him and he's seeing both and he's faking at the ball. And then he, he was a great contester too. I mean, he really contested jump shots. Sometimes he would block them, but, but he always contested them. Is he one of the most unique players you've ever coached? No question. Um, unique game, uh, unique personality. Um, but on game day, you wanted him on your side. I mean, he was just so competitive. I, I've said it before, you know, he was one of the top five competitive players that I've ever coached and I've coached for a long time. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, that's what you want. You want your kids to compete and be passionate about what they're doing. And, and Jermario Jones uh, was, was a perfect example of that. Coach, thanks so much. Looking forward to episode two. Thanks, Adam. On episode two of Film Room with Coach Jans, we'll talk about post defense. Looking forward to it. For Coach Jans, I'm Adam Young saying so long and thank you for joining us for Film Room with Chris Jans.